everybody, it's Anthony here from Cutting Edge Guitar. Today's lesson is another one of the quick tip lessons that I've just been doing for you. So last time around we were looking at muting and clean playing. What I want to do in today's lesson is look at another much overlooked area of guitar technique, which is thumb positioning. Hence why I've got the camera that's looking at the back of my guitar neck here. So thumb positioning is really important when you're playing certain lead styles, like um, in some recent lessons I've just been doing some legato tutorials. So when you're playing things like this, something that makes that really hard for people to do is if they've got their thumb too high. So what I want to do is I'm just going to play a few things and um, I'm just going to start moving around the neck so you can see where my thumb is as I'm doing it. Okay, here we go. So you can see my thumb's kind of in the middle of the back of the neck all the time. That's really, really important to keep your thumb there to allow you to have the dexterity and fluidity of things for the for the lead guitar style. So for example, if I am just fretting these kind of notes around here with my thumb in that position, what happens when I bring my thumb over the top? If you can see around the front of my guitar here, I've kind of lost I've lost all that dexterity. So you need your thumb to be in the middle of the back of the neck which then allows your hands to drop so it's uh, the cup of the hand has a space between the bottom of the guitar's neck here and uh, as I say the cup of the hand so when you're fretting you're now fretting on your fingertips there's space between all of your fingers space between the bottom of the guitar neck and the cup of the hand thumb in a nice comfortable position and now I can reach everything So something else that goes a bit wrong with this sort of thing is if I play a legato figure that moves along the length of the string. Um, I've seen players do this sort of thing quite a lot. There we go. What I'm saying is that they're keeping their thumb in one position and they're moving their hand along like this, sort of using this as a pivot point to do this. Ideally, you want to avoid that. You want to just allow your hand to move as a unit. So wherever I am, I've always got my my thumb kind of central to where my fingers are. Now, just as I've done that bending exit, my whole thumb position has completely changed. Here's the thing with lead guitar is uh, the thumb position wants to be completely in the middle of the back of the neck to allow you to play all of the intricate stuff. But then when you want to start bending, your thumb has got to creep to the top of the guitar neck to give you a pivot point from which to do that bend. Which is obviously it's a bit of a tricky thing with the electric guitar that we want to have this thumb position for one style of playing, this thumb position for another style of playing, but it kind of is what it is. If you want to be accurate, you want to sound good, you've got to move your thumb around to suit these different points. Um, it's not just about the lead stuff though. From a rhythm perspective, when you're playing power chords, my thumb's kind of in that same position to allow that nice comfortable fretting hand. And also with a lot of beginners when I'm teaching, the bar chords are a real pain. People really, really struggle to get bar chords down. And again, a lot of that is to do with thumb positioning. So if I now play, as I'm doing those bar chords, just standard major bar chords moving up and down the neck, if you see where my thumb positioning is, that is again almost giving me that, that dropped hand position, really comfortable around the front of the fretboard there, but no stretching, I'm sort of, my thumb isn't out of the way of my hand or to this way it's not too high because again if your thumb becomes high you're really struggling to get that bar chord to work in that position there so get that thumb in the middle of the back of the neck and that should make things nice and comfortable for you okay guys that's today's quick tip i hope that's uh, been useful for you 
If you've got any other quick tip ideas that you think that uh, you'd like to know about and you want to suggest them for me, drop me a line in the comments. Um, that's it for now. Make sure you subscribe. Take care and I'll see you in the next lesson.